David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. This job is in Needles, California. We're going to be uh, making an RV parking spot right here. You can see the RV motorhome right out in the street. That's going to go right up here against the uh, front of the house. All these boulders are going to um, get repurposed actually to my property, which came in real handy. We're going to extend this all the way to the raised planter bed from the walkway. We're going to go about four and a half, five inches deep on this. We're going to use a wire mesh reinforcement. The wire mesh is a six gauge. It's actually a 10 gauge. Yeah, there is six gauge wire mesh, but this is a 10 gauge. So and they're six inch squares. You'll see us rolling it out and how, how easy it is to put reinforcement in with wire mesh because if you use rebar, you're probably looking at about two hour install, whereas wire mesh, you can have it in here in less than 30 minutes. So that's another benefit of using wire. That's the Vermeer CTX 100. The motorhome is going to be entering this parking stall from the driveway. So the other end, we're going to flare out the end to accommodate that turning radius as much as possible. Put a lot of water on this ground it really it really sucked it up we put uh, we ran it for a good uh, 45 minutes and then let it set for about 30 and then compacted so we got a good hard surface the nice thing about steel out here in um, needles California is uh it really doesn't rust it's a really dry climate over here so um, if you want to preserve your steels or metals, this is the place to keep it. And that's without paint or anything. Just throw it out there. Pick it up 20 years later and it looks about the same. This is a 3000 PSI mix. This is a C-Mix is bringing this. 3 8 inch gravel. No fiber mesh in this one. This is just straight concrete with wire Wire mesh, we're just raising that by hand as we pour out. It really is difficult to dobe something like this. Anything under about a half inch steel diameter, dobies don't really work because anytime you step on it, you're going to bend it. So you got to be half inch and above to dobe something. Otherwise, you're going to bend it to the ground. So your best bet is to pick it up on the way out, and that way you're not uh, bending it up at the same time. It's about 12 feet wide through here from the eave to the planter bed it's about 12 feet so there's just i think the rv or the motorhome is about eight foot three eight foot six somewhere in there and that particular screed board is a 10 foot long and it's aluminum <laughs> Four, four, three, four, three, two, 
as we got to the end, I just used the four foot Milwaukee red stick, which is a level designed for concrete. I use that just to finish up the ends or the small areas. Here we have the four foot wide magnesium bowl float with a rocker arm. The rocker arm allows you to get out a lot further and still be able to pull it back without getting buried. We will be using a new tool on this one. I have the uh, Tomahawk Power Trowel. It's a 30 inch. It's very lightweight design. It's a four stroke. It looks like it would be a two stroke as small as that engine is, but it is a four stroke. So it's convenient to put fuel in it without having to mix it in um, your ratio. You don't have to worry about your oil to gas ratio. So anyone could use it in other words. We'll be using that here shortly. It's very lightweight, too. You can lift it um, with one hand. So that means you can get out on there a little bit earlier than you typically would with a, uh, any other power trowel. And this particular power trowel is different, too, because it extends your handles up to 18 feet long. So um, the power trowel we will be using here, we can extend it 18 feet out by adding more poles to it. We're going to be running it here with just one six-foot pole, but um, you can kind of get the idea. You can get it out there a lot earlier than you typically would. Otherwise, you don't have to walk out on the concrete or worry about uh, leaving a lot of foot footholds. Now, here's Big Blue laying it down nice. I've got my cutter out there cutting some joints. Our joint pattern is every other joint on that sidewalk a lot of times when you're uh, pouring against concrete other old concrete especially without a uh, expansion joint or something in between those a lot of times your um, cracks in the existing will reflect through the new pour so it's good to pick up the joints off of um, the existing unless you've isolated it in some way or another but in this case it's not Here's the funny float. It's a hand float, but it's on a pole, so you're going to cover a lot more area. And hand floats, what they do is they flatten it out. They help you flatten it out, move, move the concrete around into the holes. It's real difficult to move mud with a trowel, so that's why um, you, use, you can use one of these funny floats first if you have time. How's that mud feeling to you? Sticky. Real sticky. So it's got a lot of cement. It's going, it's exploding. I don't want to get behind the schedule. That's what it means. Yeah, catching up's not fun, is it? Not with the machine like that. Oh, you mean that little beauty over here? This little two-footer? A little two-foot beauty? On its on its mate this is its maiden voyage really so yeah that's gonna be the maiden voyage for this so unit. was the Titanic yeah maiden voyages you know that's the test it's the true test there's really no other test in a real run What exactly um, is the purpose of this tool, would you say? Well, I don't really know because I was just going to funny trowel it instead of this. But, uh, uh -huh. you know, it's just an, another act of exercise, I guess, at this point. That's actually a 30-inch power trowel, not a 24-inch. And it's, uh, it gets you really close. If you have a wall or something that you're going to run that power trowel against, you can get within one inch the way the blades and the guards set up. All these joints so far that we've done, we've just kind of freehanded them. Um, inevitably we're gonna have to lay this I'm gonna lay the straight edge on there and then get down on it with a hand
hand joiner just kind of straighten them up this is pretty much close to the final pass especially in the area in the sun so we'll run that joiner and then just lightly touch some of the uh, joint marks that's leaving on the sides hit that with the funny trial and it's pretty much ready to broom although we'll have to wait a little bit longer for the shaded area so the broom texture is uh, uniform all the way through Now this is the first pass um, on hand by hand down this walkway and this is the time you'd want to clean up any residuals on the walkway and that's what I'm doing here also you can, this is the time you want to really want to flush it out when you get down there low like this with the hand float you can really um, see if you're perfectly flat coming across the, that seam I was a little bit concerned about that raised planter, whether or not it was going to collapse because of the um, removal of the dirt un out from underneath it. Um, but it did stay long enough to get the concrete back under there to help support it. Right at the bottom of those stones on that planter with the concrete right now there might be at the high points of the bottom of those stones we might have a little half inch could be buttered in with some mortar or something potentially if there is any erosion <laughs> This is your funny trowel. Now we're at a power trowel action here. And you can see how much longer this handle is than the normal power trowel. And then also it's designed so you can extend it out with um, extra poles that snap in. The nice thing about power troweling something is that the surface um, with that extra weight and all the rotation it really uh, it helps consolidate the surface. So you're going to end up with a little bit harder surface than you would normally just by hand work. So this is the maiden voyage of this unit. And it did get through it, so it was a, a success, you could say. <music> Walking by these cactuses and power trawling at the same time was somewhat challenging. Did get a few stickers at the same time. That one big cactus there, um, it's a protected, I don't know the name of it, but it is, it's protected. You, even though it looks like it's dying, you can't take it down unless it falls down by, by itself. So it's, um, uh, I guess there's not that many of them around. You can see the horsehair broom going on in the background in the sun area. 
you got to catch that and then you got to give this shaded area a little time to dry so you can maintain that same texture all the way through joiner I used on this is three quarter inch deep half inch radius which matches the edger and that's a half inch radius as well Four, three, two, yeah as I started looking at these joints when I got down on my on the ground Trialing it out and noticed they weren't very straight. So I break out the old screed board and um, straighten them up real quick. You notice that funky join over there on an angle on the entry for the motorhome? That's just a little bonus one I threw in there because he may come off the concrete and then jump up onto the concrete. So uh, it may crack there and then it'll probably it most likely going to crack on the joint now. Which is good because you won't see the cracks. It'll be within the joint and the wire will hold it all together so it really won't separate much either. It'll just give it a flex point, basically. This is the curing compound going on. What this does is it pretty it seals the surface. It holds the moisture into the concrete. That way it slow cures it. So you can water cure these, you know, and you could probably eliminate the curing compound. But this really helps a lot by doing... Uh, both curing compound and water curing you get the best of both worlds that way well I recommended for him to drive this RV on here about two weeks 28 days is your full cure time two weeks you're at probably 80 percent and usually 28 days you're over whatever you ordered if it's 3,000 you're probably already over 3,000 at 28 so um in two weeks you're going to be set real pretty the job turned out real nice make sure you like share subscribe if you like these kind of videos Hit the uh, bell notification, then you'll be notified on the next upload. Thanks. Bye.